just want to take a quick minute and talk about my approach to blues harmonica playing as far as pucker versus tongue blocking the percentage of what I use because uh, it's a lot it has a lot to do with the attack um, I think a lot of players maybe spend their lives as a pucker player or exclusively as a tongue block player which I can respect I have many many friends and know many uh, incredible harmonica players out there that are both actually either exclusive pucker players or exclusive tongue blockers uh, and some are really strong advocates of just you know you have to tongue block everything again I respect that that's just not my approach and I want to talk about my approach my attack uh, when I play the harmonica just give you some insight maybe it'll help for those of you that do mix uh, or have thought about wanting to mix both pucker and tongue blocking I started as a pucker player and by a year and a half or so into that I, I, I was intrigued by the sound tongue block players were getting and I wanted to get that sort of Chicago more of that Chicago sound and that big full tone so I spent some time learning how to tongue block well here's what the way my style developed and what where it went um, at this point I, I pucker everything that's a bend every bent note is puckered um, I have taught myself how to bend while tongue blocking but it's not as I'm not as efficient I'm not a, it's not as effective for me so I play all my bends puckered holes one through three I pucker everything no matter what unless it's a chord you know but all single notes are puckered and holes four really all the way up but mainly four through really all the way up but four through eight nine area um, especially in that let's say four through nine I tongue block often a lot of as much as I can not the bends like I said I always pucker those bends but when you when I pl am playing something like this until I get to that three I'm 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 always just hitting as much tongue blocking as I can in the middle of the harp why because that's where it can get really thin quickly it's on that four five six seven so you want this effect of slapping that tongue slap effect and even if you're not tongue slapping just when you have your tongue on the harp it's just a nice big sound so this is a good segue right here let's just get into talking about um, if you're gonna start mixing the two what are the challenges you face well one of them the biggest challenge is Damn this this line, I'm just figuring this out now of course. Um, well it's okay. The, it's just I, I'm looking at the video and it's like I'm distracted by how bright it is on my face. Um, one of the challenges you're gonna stay focused. One of the challenges that you'll have is the transition point between mid riff. Often I'm going. <laughs> So when you hear me, all that's puckered. But right there when I get to four, I'm, I transition to a tongue block. So how do you get into that and make it smooth? Well, practice the point where the switch is. Three draw half step bend, let's say. Slap your tongue on the harp. And it'll be deep in if you first learn how to tongue block, get a single note, but and just practice that pucker to tongue block, three draw pucker, four draw tongue block. The shift is is the harp going deeper for the tongue block. You have to, you know, you really the harp's really far in. Uh, both for puckering and tongue block to get good tone, but for tongue blocking it's really far in there. So just practice that. <laughs> then come down. Maybe from four draw down to three. Here's the four draw to a pucker to three. And that little practice point is wonderful because I'm constantly switching back and forth without thinking about it now. It's just in my brain, it's it's hardwired, but uh, it just sort of happened naturally. But I think for those getting into it, that's the recommendation, and the and I would just leave you with that thought: is just 
Or octaves. Just don't forget to practice those little points of transition. Three draw half step bend to one four draw maybe. To an octave. So, and before you know it, it'll be seamless. <clears throat> You'll be able to really switch back and forth. And the key is, when I'm puckering, I don't sacrifice tone. I want to make sure I can still get the biggest tone possible on those draw notes. So still practice good tone. Even when you're puckering, don't let that tone, it can never, you can never sacrifice that. So one more quick tip as a pucker player. The deeper in the mouth you can get it, the harmonica, without losing the pucker, the single note. And opening up this jaw and letting it drop without bending the note, just for a single note, two draw. Open your mouth, your throat, that's how you start to get good tone as a pucker player. I'll catch you guys soon.